garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations. That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? Oh, that's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. Oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human I swear. thought? Human behavior? Of course, it sounds a lot like Battlestar. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. Jesus. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. <laughs> So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. Paradigm. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. 
All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. God right. Dang. Take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Oh boy. Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. <laughs> I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It's time we were both free. other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed.
we go, finally. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Well, I forgot about this fight. Oh my god. Wow. He's so easy to take out. All you gotta do is wait for him to use his... his uh... There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Really... Majority of the time, all I have to do is wait for him to use his his uh, appendages. Oh, this is when he rockets around. Actually, come on. What the friggin' deuce? Right, you have to be Solidus. This is your last duty. You're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. You're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Grey. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese war during World War II. Your code name, Prime 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? You know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? Yeah. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Jesus. 